year we went back and we studied composers like Vivaldi. If you all remember my red hair from Vivaldi. Yeah. Okay, so we did all kinds of stuff like that. This year, I want to do something a little bit more contemporary. So what I would like for you to do is name a violinist that you know, contemporary violinist. And I want to see what kind of answers I get. What does that mean? What is the the best violinist that you know? And do not name me. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Victoria. It's Zach Perlman. Isaac Perlman. Woo! We got a very educated answer. Well done, Victoria. Anybody else? I don't exactly know. Go ahead, Chana. I don't know my name because her name's Celtic. Her name's Celtic. I can't pronounce it. Is she on the Celtic Nesbitt. woman? Mary okay. Nesbitt. Okay. I know who you're talking about. And here I thought you were going to say Lindsey Sterling. <laughs> <laughs> Knew that was coming. <laughs> but he was like, yes, I know this name. I was going to say something. I'm afraid to remember the play Charlotte. Charlie, Charlie. I play cello instead. Ah, well, you might get a chance for that. That's either, I've got to ch check in with our teacher for tomorrow, but uh, make sure she's still available. But she's doing cello tomorrow, so. Um, so today we're doing violin, and I would like to bring to your attention, Isaac Perlman was a very good name to know. He is famous across the world, has played in every major concert hall. Carnegie Hall, he's been there. He's had TV productions done, okay? If you didn't know the name Isaac Perlman, you should know the name Isaac Perlman. However, Isaac Perlman is no longer performing that much. He's old, okay? And he's kind of retired. He had some health issues. So, here's a name I do want you to know now. His name is Gil Shaham. Gil Shahan is just about nine years older than I am, but he did his first concert when he was ten years old. He performed with the Jerusalem Symphony, and he performed with the Isra Israel Philharmonic, which is very prestigious in the world of music, okay? And that's where he made his debut. Can you imagine how many people we got about ten years old in here? John's like, <laughs> 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 Can I raise my hand to your plus? Secure is getting close. He started, he was born in, I don't, I've had all of this on this stuff, but it is not even moving when I'm touching it right now, so I'm kind of giving up for the moment. He was born in Champaign, Urbana, Illinois. Okay? So he is an American violinist, but his parents were both um, Israeli. And both of them, neither one of them were musicians in, like, that they were performing musicians. They were both scientists, but they do, both of them played. His mother played piano some, and he played the violin. I had this picture up earlier. Oh, well, we'll get at least Hey, there he is. This is Gil Shaham now, okay? And you can see he's prominent. Um, if you look him up on a working internet basis, <laughs> then you will find all kinds of information on him. He's got a Facebook um, page that you would love to probably look at and see some of the stuff he's done. So since I can't pull everything up that I want to today, um, yeah, it's not got all the pictures on here that I wanted to pull up. But, okay, let me go back up. I think there was a picture of him with his instrument somewhere right there. Okay, so let me do a couple of little things here. One, he was born here. His parents were Israeli. They moved back to Israel when he was two. He started taking violin when he was seven. Did not play the violin until he was seven. Now, what age did I say he performed at? Ten. Can you imagine playing for three years? And then, ta-da, I'm on stage. <laughs> okay. I started when I was eight and played when I was eleven. Yes. But not with the Philharmonic Orchestra. Okay? Anyway, when he was 
Um, that same year, he ended up w winning an award. And then the next year, when he was 11, he was, an award he was awarded a scholarship to Juilliard. Okay? So at 11 years old, anybody not know the name Juilliard? Juilliard is an important name to know. Juilliard is the school of music. It's in New York City. Okay? And anybody that is anybody like serious superstar level of music goes to Juilliard. Okay? So you have to be basically awesome to get there. And he was <laughs> awesome at 11 with a scholarship. He didn't even have to pay his way. They said, please come. <laughs> okay? So at 11 years old, he's in Juilliard. He continued his education there, and then by the time he graduated, he went to another college in uh, Colorado while he was studying there, another music school. He was called to replace Isaac Perlman. 18 years old. He's still in college studies, and in his senior year, which some of y'all know is barely important, <laughs> And busy and crazy, right? In his senior year there, I get, you know he's 18. I'm guessing that may not have even been, because that's not college college. That's still high school, right? So graduating in high school, senior year, and he is called to replace Isaac Perlman in London because he has had um, an illness and cannot perform in a television series that they are producing live. Short notice, he dropped stuff and flew to London and performed there. That started his career big time. He now plays across the world. He plays in China. I'm trying to remember where he was just this. He's not playing this particular week because he is in transit, I think, from Beijing right now. Okay, he's been playing in China, he plays in Israel quite often, he plays, you name it, in Berlin, he plays every major orchestra hall that there is, and he is well sought after. So, okay, now he's getting a bit older though, right? I'm 36. So that makes him 45, okay? It's a little harder to identify, maybe, for a lot of y'all, a 45-year-old. Can you imagine your wife at 45? He's married. His wife is a violinist. And he has three children. And they are studying violin, but not under them, interestingly enough. And parents have said that they will not teach them themselves, and they're not going to give any input. Because they think that they should get to discover that the same way they did. Okay, before I leave him, I about forgot something that I think is crazy important and... Very interesting. Y'all know the name Stradivarius? Tell me you know the name Stradivarius. Please, 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 please. Stradivarius is like the best, the greatest violin maker ever, okay? He, no, London, London. Okay, he lived back in the time of Vivaldi. This man, Gil Shaham, owns a Stradivarius. And it's not just any. Stradivarius. This one was created here. What I talked to you about remembering Vivaldi, and last year we played one of the Four Seasons pieces. To we played we're spring. Doing one this year. Yes, and we're doing summer this year. No, the reason we're too. doing it. Mm -hmm. we did yeah, spring we did, and winter. Spring, winter last year. This year we're doing summer, and the reason we wanted to revive it, or I wanted to revive it, is because the Stradivarius that he has was made. And probably the Four Seasons was premiered on this very instrument that long ago. It is a, um, it was in an experimental phase for Stradivarius. He didn't make very many instruments like this. It has a longer body than the violins that we play. So all of you who are violinists, the instrument itself is a little longer than ours and maybe a little narrower. So, he says this is, it took him quite a while to learn to play this. Interesting story how he got it, too. When he was 18, remember I told you he went and played for Isaac Perlman in place of him? He was given this instrument on loan, if you will, by um, a private collector. And there is a record 
of where this violin has passed down. It belonged to the Countess de Bourguignon, if I'm saying that correctly. But she was in Louis IV's court. Okay, <laughs> that's where it belonged in the very first bit and played the Four Seasons. It traveled from her to a few other hands. It stayed in a museum for like over a hundred years. Then it went to um, Austria. No, Australia. I'm sorry. It went to Australia. And then from Australia, it went to this private collector. And from this private collector, he loans it to Gil Shaham as an 18 year old. He has. A Stradivarius in his hands. I want y'all to understand the importance of that. It's a Stradivarius in his hands. <laughs> 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 Takes him forever, he said, to get used to it. Because of its narrow body. His wife plays violin too. She has two instruments. He only has one. He doesn't have a backup instrument. And he said if he had to play one of hers, it would be really difficult for him because he's played this other one so long it took quite a while to get used to it. Isn't that interesting? So we're playing Four Seasons this year in kind of tribute to Gil Shaham and his violin, his Stradivarius violin. Okay, so off Gil Shaham, want you to know, be looking, he has got performances coming up. You should look around sometime. If he ever comes anywhere near y'all, go see him. It's beautiful to watch him play. I've watched him on YouTube, and I love to watch him as he's playing because you know all the time they get really serious. You ever seen him do that? Yeah. And they're just like... Frowning and it almost looks painful. That's our faces right now. Okay. Yes. Okay. He plays and he smiles. He enjoys it and he'll turn around. You can see the joy just pouring out of him. He is a lot of fun to watch, so you should go and see him. Okay. So, besides Gil Shaham, I know I'm probably like, I'll take too long if I'm not careful. I want to make sure you get your break. So, I said he's 45. And that's a little further off from, from y'all. There's another lady. I'm not going to go on to her very much. Hilary Hahn is her name. She is also an excellent violinist. About a good, um, she's 31. So she's a little younger than I am. So that's getting a little closer. And it's, her tone is beautiful. You should watch her on YouTube sometime. She just can glide from one spot to the other. Personally, I do enjoy Gil Shaham just a little bit more because he seems to enjoy his music so much. Um, but you should watch her because she is traveling the globe as well, performing. Her name is well known in many, many orchestras. Um, but now, let's skip from U.S. because Hillary and Gil both were born here. They are considered American violinists. Let's skip to another continent. London, England. And let me see if any of these pictures will show up at least. I really wanted to. Okay, can y'all see this? Yeah. You see this little girl? She is 11. Her name is Alma Dusker. Dusker. It's got like a C S C H, so it's got to be sk. Dusker. Okay. <laughs> she was born in London in 2000. Five. She's as old as I am. She's 11 years old right now. Okay, so I guess her birthday's early on or something. Yes. No, it's what they it's my birthday. Yeah. So, anyway, this child <laughs> started playing when she was two on piano. She plays piano and she plays violin. She also composes. And she is being heralded as a little Mozart, which she does not really particularly appreciate. She tells everybody, I am not a little Mozart. Do you know why she would be considered a little Mozart, though? Because she started so early. She started so early. Mozart started way early. He was playing piano and violin, performing early on. He started composing, and Mozart was heralded for being able to write all of his music linear instead of vertical. And any of you that start doing composition at any point in time, you will understand how hard that is because he made no mistakes.